While Putin's army is trying to break through to Snagost, the Ukrainian armed forces have struck the enemy, who was located at the pontoon bridge across the Sim River. By October the 1st, Putin gave the order to the Russian Defense Ministry to drive the Ukrainian armed forces out of the Kursk region. On September the 10th, the Russian army launched a counter-offensive, Forbes reports. The Frontelligence Insight Analytical Group writes that the counter-attack by the Russian armed forces came as a surprise to many Ukrainian defenders, but no one can hide from the eyes of drone operators. Thus, operators from the 14th Aviation Systems Regiment saw enemy soldiers in the area of the pontoon bridge across the Sim River. Fighters from the 27th Artillery Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces using the HIMARS MLRS immediately launched a series of cluster munition strikes. The video showed that at the beginning of the MLRS operation, there were up to 30 occupiers, and by the end of the missile attack, there were about 13 people alive. On another section of the front in the area of Snagosti, the Russian armed forces managed to regain control of a number of populated areas. The 22nd Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces counter-attacked the enemy in the area of Snagosti. The front line here is chaotic. Ukrainian forces are represented by airborne troops, battalions, and on the part of the Russian armed forces, it is a complete hodgepodge. Experts say that such an army is unlikely to be able to carry out Putin's direct order by October the 1st. However, in reality, this does not mean that the Russian armed forces do not have offensive capabilities. The Russian armed forces have an advantage in terms of manpower and equipment. However, the Ukrainian armed forces have an advantage in that they will not attack, but defend. Rather than fighting to the death over a specific piece of land, Ukrainian forces typically fight until they are on the brink of defeat and then move to more defensible positions. However, if enough Russian troops attack simultaneously from different directions, Ukrainian troops could be left without fallback positions. Ukrainian commanders understand this risk. That's why their drones are keeping a close eye on the likely approaches of Russian reinforcements, including any pontoon bridges over the Seam River, and why their best rocket artillery is ready to hit reinforcements before they reach the front lines. The Defense Forces fighters managed to stop the occupiers from advancing in the direction of the city of Selidovo, but the assaults themselves have not stopped. This was stated in a commentary to LigaNet by Vitaly Milovidov, an officer of the National Guard Operational Brigade, Karadag. According to him, more than a week has passed since the Karadag fighters stopped the Russian advance in the Selidovsky area. The Russians have become more cautious and are no longer moving so openly since Ukrainian artillery and FPV drones are successfully operating here. Now the National Guard is trying to keep the invaders away from the infantry lines, reducing the number of close combats. However, the Russians are still storming almost to the last. To say that they got hit in the teeth somewhere and rolled back, they have no such practice at all. There is an anti-tank ditch near the Kotlyarevskaya mine in the vicinity of Selidovo. It is already filled with corpses and they are climbing through them and simply walking one after another. A terrible picture, the officer said. Also indicative is the lack of military equipment among the Russians in this direction. Its use is recorded in isolated cases, but the Russian Federation is beginning to use more guided air bombs and does not neglect to strike with high precision weapons at Ukrainian positions that they physically cannot pass through. According to the officer, in recent days the Russians have become more cautious and are less likely to form large groups for assaults. Melovidov does not believe that the enemy has run out of soldiers. The occupiers have simply taken a break to find more effective tactics. Recently, Russia deployed significant reserves of motorized infantry, amounting to up to a battalion, as well as up to two batteries of 155mm cannon and 122mm rocket artillery, including M777A2 and FH70 howitzers, as well as the RM70 Vampire MLRS in the Selidovo direction. After being supported by artillery fire and FPV drones, several tactical assault platoon units of the armed forces of Ukraine carried out a counter-offensive launch from the fortifications in the southern quarter of Selidovo towards the eastern part of the city, forcing units of the center group of troops to retreat to the northeastern outskirts of Selidovo in the area of fire station number 63. Apparently, regrouping and preparations for a new offensive of Russian army units in the central regions of Selidovo are now underway. <laughs>